Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of data, specifically how we can create different bar graphs, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have three different types of circles up here on the top of the screen, and I want to show you how you can create some bar graphs on your own and make them look different based on the interval. And so let's talk about that word real quick. So interval is simply the distance between each line on a bar graph, or how far does each line represent. So we'll start with our most simple interval, and that would be an interval of one. So if I wanted to make a bar graph that's vertical, I'm gonna need one bar for each of my colors. So you see I've got red, I've got blue, and I've got green. And so I'm just gonna put an R, and I'm gonna put a B, and I'm gonna put a G. Now I need to, first off, I need to go ahead and just finish my bar graph. I need to go ahead and put some bars across. And we'll talk about what those intervals are in just a minute, but I'm just going to put a few bars across. And it, when you're drawing them by yourself, if at all possible, try to make them as evenly spaced as possible. Better yet, if you can get a piece of lined paper or grid paper, it's going to make your job a little bit easier. We'll just kind of go up like this, and there we go. I've got my bar graph. All I need now are my numbers. So remember, our interval is 1. So you always start with 0 down at the bottom. And the interval of 1 simply means you count by 1s. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll put 5 and 6 up at the top. So now I just need to create my bars. How many reds do I have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to make kind of a skinny bar like this and I'm going to make it go all the way up to five now I'm going to shed uh, shade it all the way in so now it looks like you like you see on the screen here I've got five reds because my bar goes all the way up to five blue not so much I've only got three so I'm just going to go up to that three line and I've got to just like this. Green. I've got one, two, three, four. So one of the nice things about a bar graph is that you can use it to really quickly, just with your eyes, see which one has more. Rather than counting all of the shapes and trying to figure out how many circles you have that are blue versus green versus red, this bar graph lets you really quickly see, oh, I've got the most red because that bar is the tallest. The taller the bar, the bigger the number. But what happens if we change the interval? So let's look to see what happens. I'm going to draw another bar graph, and I'm going to try to make it as even as the other one. So I'm going to uh, put my three colors in the same order. I'm going to try to draw my bars exactly the same distance apart from each other and the same number of bars. The only difference is now I'm going to change my interval. I'm always going to start at zero, but instead of counting by ones, my interval is going to be two. So watch this. I'm going to go zero, two, four. So I'm skip counting. Six, eight, ten. So I go all the way up to 12. So the only difference is my interval has changed from one to two. But look at what is to my bar graph. I still have five reds. But my 5 is going to be right here in between the 4 and the 6. So look at how small my red bar is. And it looks like that because the interval has changed. I cut the interval. I, I doubled the interval, so I cut this bar in half. It went from way up here to just right there, 5. Now my blue is still 3, but look at 3 is right here between 2 and 4. Sometimes when you don't have an interval of one, your number might not be on the side of the bar graph. And you have to see whether it's in between some of the numbers that you see on the bar graph. And then finally, my green. At least my green has a number. It's four. But right here, there's my green. So my numbers are still the same. I still have five and three and four, just like on the other one. But the, changing the interval changes the size of the bar. 